Hello, my name is Ari Isaac. I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego. Uh, and today we're going to run through the um, the measurement tool for our Port GIS program, which is based on ArcGIS Explorer. Uh, basically, uh, I wanted to start off with a couple caveats. Number one, the surveyors and engineers are more accurate than this information, so um, just defer to them. If they say it's 102 feet and you measured it out and it's 105 feet, then um, they're probably right. It's also not official in the same way that um, the assessor's office might have official information about square footage and that kind of thing. And the last thing is that uh, we have a tool here called for driving directions and you can measure distance, driving distance, show distances in right here under the driving directions. So if you're measuring driving directions, I suggest you use this tool instead of the measurement tool. So this is the measure tool. And basically how we have how we have this set up just to remind you this is the list of tasks this is the task interface the place where you ask the question this is the results that you get and these are the the layers that we have turned on these are the answer the results are the answers to the questions so basically the first thing I'm going to do we're going to zoom in on a familiar area which would be our uh, our building which I believe is right over here somewhere. Yep, that looks like it right there. There's our building right there. There's the walkway, the specific highway. There's the parking lot. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the points. How this tool is set up is um, if you click on the measurement measure in the list, you get this interface right here. You have points, lines, polylines, which are aligned with many vertices, or an area to measure. This is the title that'll when you add it to the results. This is the title and this is the units, uh, the length units and the area units and then this is in basic information about it so you can work, uh, you know, enter, you can, you, can, you can figure things out without actually creating a result. So the first step, first thing I wanted to do, let's say here's our parking lot here. Let's say you wanted to know the latitude and longitude of your car. You know that you parked right in this spot. So you can click the point, and then this is your car, so point. And what it does is it creates your point measurement, longitude, latitude, height. And you can change this, the height's in feet, but if you change this, uh, it'll change to inches. So that's, that's a nice way to do it. And, uh, so let's just do, let's call this car lat long. Let's call it, let's, and let's start it off with point create result and what it does is it adds it to the bottom down here and now you have a result that you can in the future you'll be able to email or let's say you go over here you do some work over here and you want to get back to it you can uh, right click and fly to it and you'll be able to get right back to it okay so let's move on to the next the next um, uh, uh, type feature type uh, oh this is a uh, vector okay if you click and you want to get out, you can just press escape. One of the cool things I wanted to do is measure the distance from the end of the runway to the other end of the runway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom out here because once you click, you have to use, if you click right there, you have to use, if you use the left, it'll pan for you because I can't click. And as you can see over here, the numbers are changing so and we're in inches which is a little silly but that's okay we'll change it once we create the result and now I'm going to press up and then press left again and then we're going to count this as the end of the runway because I don't think I think this is like uh, in case they need a little bit of extra room so let's double click click once and so what it's done is it's figured out the inches. Let's see. So it's this many inches. Let's see it in uh, meters. It's this many meters. That's a little bit more workable. And then you can press, uh, let's, let's change the name of this. Let's call this line airport runway. And let's press create result. What it does is it adds this feature here. And then you can right click and you can do fly to and now you can see all of our we have our two separate features okay so let's move on to the next example the next example I have 
is let's say you are part of the um, you you want to exercise every day at lunch. So you go, what we're going to do is you're going to pretend, we can't do this, but you're going to walk around the parking lot all the way around like this, and you want to know how far that is every day at lunch. So we come in here to the building, uh, and we, we have to click the measure to get the whole thing. This one that we just used, that's just a straight line. This one is going to be, you click once, you can click again, and then I'm going to use the... Uh, left and right and down to get to the other corner. Remember, this isn't the whole, this is not just our air, our parking lot. This is the parking lot for the whole, uh, you know, for the whole airport. So we click there. And let's go up and left. And let's click there. And let's click there. This is the way you walk every day. Click there. Click there, and then let's move over, and then you come back over here, and then you go back to the building. Okay, and you when, when you double click, it it keeps it, and it says this is the total area that you walk. Let's change this to uh, polyline. Let's call it a polyline because it's got numerous numerous angles numerous corners and let's uh, polyline walk parking lot uh, and let's create a result so it, it adds it to the result and then we can we can uh, fly to the result so you can see the whole thing and if you actually you can click on the result and it'll give you this information total length this many meters, which is let's 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 jump back into this measure and let's change this to miles. So it's 0.78 miles. That's a pretty good walk. Okay. So uh, the last example is let's say we want to figure out the area of the roof for some reason, um, uh, and uh, so you can do that by clicking this one measure area. Click there there, there, and then double click to finish, and let's call this area roof port build, and then let's call, let's go, um, we don't want this in acres, we want this in square feet, so we press create result, now this does something weird. Basically, what's happening here is this is um, this black isn't. It's called an outline. Usually, this tool is used, or it was designed um, to measure larger areas, like a whole county or something. It works just fine measuring smaller areas, but the default way to um, draw it is from a larger view than this particular measurement. Um, considering we're at the port, we're you know we don't deal on that many things on the county scale. We're 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 more dealing with our uh, our smaller area so but the way to change this is right click on your go to properties and then the properties window will come up and you have a symbol this is the symbol and basically what's happening is we have this is the symbol and we have a outline here if you pick any one of these that doesn't have an outline then see it looks much more uh, reasonable and it's uh, that's how many square feet the uh, the roof is. Anyway, if you have any questions, the last thing I'm going to leave you with is if uh, you um, if you right click on these things, you can do things to them. And one that I wanted to close out with, as I'm saying my name is the airport line. You can do right click, fly along, and it will get you set. And it's got this. Uh, this little fly along tool I guess and let's slow down the speed and I'm just gonna press play okay and then you just fly along the point fly along the line anyway um, my name is Ari Isaac I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego my phone number is 619-400-4778 where I can be reached at AISAAK at portofsandiego.org 
Uh, I'm really excited about the Port GIS program, and I hope you are too. And uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.